Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildermyth. Horribly sorry for my month-long hiatus th there. That was unintentional. Stuff happened, got in the way. Uh, but we are back in Wildermyth. We have three areas we need to clear, assuming more don't come up from invasions. Uh, I so, uh, and we gotta parlay with the deep ones. We could do that right now. We have the resources. I kind, I'm kind of obsessive though, and want to clear all these out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward through travel. I'll read out the events, and then I'll just fast. I'll just skip all the battles uh, unless like something amazing happens or like someone uh, get it. If someone gets a spirit or dies or something like that, then I'll I'll put that in. Otherwise, it's either going to be sped up or cut out or something. I just want to get through this because I, I want to beat this game and I feel uh, my own obsessiveness is stopping me from that. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go to El Ad Woods. Uh, Arkst has a guy he wants to bury, but can't really spare him right now because we need all hands on deck. So I'll be back with you guys in just a moment after all this. Oh, yeah. Are you alright, Zoliana? You haven't said a word for hours. Really? Oh, um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just thinking. Want to share? Maybe we can help. Um, I'm just... Well, I was daydreaming, really, about what I want to do when... When our trials are over and only the songs of our deeds need travel through the land. I'll bet we'll all have dreams. Uh, but what'll it be for you? What do you want to do? I don't know. I think I want to retire to a quiet farm somewhere. I'll take a much needed break, maybe a trip out to the sea. How about you, Greggy? I'll sit by the fire with my beloved, never to be separated again. What about you, Jaw? Dunno. Maybe a sword for her maybe be a sword for hire? I couldn't just sit around all day. Heads up, gang, we're almost on top of them. <sighs> One day. Nolas has leveled up. Uh, melee attacks deal one damage. Furiated by runes or long reach. All the enemies seem to have long reach, so let's give Nolas long reach. <laughs> Zoliana has gained a level. Jump jaw, so she can set a trap, bard, or a post. Uh, I think out of a lot of these, jump jaw is the most useful. Monster talk. The Gorgonoids are slain. Battles led them down a boulderous roam where the gray grass matches the cloud color. Someone doing dragon pictures? Hey, Zuliana! Old Zuliana Elm Sweep! The Astral Lady! Good. What? Hmm? So what's your favorite monster? Oh, definitely Dinner Wolf. Cute idea, him stealing the ham, walking on two legs. Got to be a classic, like a unicorn with a beautiful dark-haired woman on his back. Eyes mystical and deep. She sings in a forest tongue. Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. A dragon. Such a romantic figure, really. That it surprises me neither of you said it. I'll always look at the clouds and shape dragons from them. Thiegland and Zemnia, mighty Griffix of Netherflare. Can't wait until we're around a fire. The stories will soar. Alright. It's a risk, but, uh, a Greggy found a fire spirit. Gonna enchant his dueling sword. There we go. And Jaw has gotten stronger. Counterattacker, su successful melee block. Jaw can summon a heat of strength to drive an enemy to a nearby tile. 
or the fear by woman's jaw deals plus one damage. You know what, let's do Blood Rage. Okay, so that was a chore, and I just realized there was recruitment we never got. Uh, we have no legacy points. I spent them canceling calamities. We do have two opportunities, though. I don't know if those make legacy points or not, but may as well give it a shot. Slave for love. Jaw? Meet Jevdin. Name is Jevin, actually. He's got a wicked sense of humor and a real smarmy laugh. Charming. He has a journey to go on, so I have to go with him. Hmm? Yeah, so here's what it is. My father was captured by roaming Draven. Oh. Well, then maybe we should get, get go get the company. The company? No, it... It's not too many Draven. Oh. Still, it's some Draven, so... And they have captured my whole family. Someone's mowing their lawn or something in the background. Oh yeah, that's directly outside my window. Sorry if you guys hear that. I guess I get it. So we'll get going then. Je Jevdin says, name's just Jevin, actually. Is that negotiable, though? Thump. Something's weird with that guy. Hold up! At least take me along. I won't get in the way. Oh, that's even better! Both of you! Sure. Uh, a Greggy... Eh, he's not great on health, but you know what, sure. And I'll have the others... Arx is badly hurt, so we'll just have the others go over here to town to heal up, I guess. Oh, and it's right where we need to go, too. Huh. Alright! It's an awkward, quiet trek. Many... A Many of the shortcuts Jevin seems to know well are unfamiliar to Jaw. You definitely ruined it, True. But I, but think about it, doesn't something feel off? Like when you hear a sudden echo to your footsteps, or your belt that fit yesterday won't go all the way around? Because you made it weird. You did. Cree, cree! That's all it is? We're here! Cree. The thick line of forest rises before them. Not clearly menacing, nor even remarkable. Birds and squirrels and the things in between make their sunset sounds. They've got my brother in there. Better let me go in alone. I know these woods. You come when I call. All of Jevin, I'm not letting him out of my sight, or... You know what, we, we did this one last time, so let's wait for Jevin's signal. I trust him. Come on, let's wait. Poke around these rooms. I'm telling you, whatever you think will happen, you're going to be disappointed. Maybe. Disappointment isn't the worst thing. Better to chase something and not catch it than to spend your life stagnant and wondering. Ex that explains a lot. So what's that's what this is, I guess? Yeah, if I thought about it that hard. Oh, there's something. Uh, hey, Zuliana? Here's a wild theory. Zuliana stoops to pick up a small relic half buried in the rubble. Hmm? What if this was all a ploy to get us to stand out here defenseless, and Jevin was just going to sell us to some Draven slavers, and they've each got swords? That's oddly specific. We got a brooch. Let's give that to... Uh, let's give that to Jaw. Because he's gonna have some problems here. Two stumps, disgusting and hot. Thankfully, Draven aren't too strong here, it looks like. So far... <laughs> Uh, let's throw the jump jar down here. Yes. Uh, and you know what? You can blink him from far away. Never mind. Well, we tried. Now we're all gonna die! Huzzah! Right, let's uh, quickly infuse with some stuff for Greggy. Sky Singer, that might actually be a problem, come to think of it. Although they do seem to just enjoy hurting themselves, so it's hard to say, really. Okay. Okay. Uh, interviews with this for more calcify. Okay. Now, uh, Greggy, you can stand. No, oh, hang on. Yeah, you. How? Yeah, you. You know what? You go here then. Fine. That'll work. Okay. Uh, Greggy, you take where? Take up where Jaw just was. 
Let's strike this guy. Not a lot of damage, so that is a bummer. But you can get a through shot on these two. Yeah, great. Stumps after. This is probably a bad idea. This is almost definitely a really bad idea, so let's plop that there. Okay, you know what, Jaw? Why don't you go rescue her? That sounds like a she needs some help here. A Greggy can probably handle this guy, right? Come on to fire! Yeah, there we go. Just gotta use the firearm more than the sword, I guess. Alright, looks like we're good. Everything's under control. A low mood fogs their otherwise cloudless return. But the last evening, a storm welcomes them back into Lightwood. I suppose I'll never truly be happy. Don't tell me you're not over that Jevin guy. How could I be? He had a truly wicked sense of humor. This guy's cute, though. Yeah? You don't think that's his wife, do you? You're awful. What is their relationship? Are they just friends, or are they... Zoliana came back from a journey more able and ready. Zoliana refunded an action point for each melee kill. You know, let's give her extra health. She tends to get hurt a bit. Uh, relationships. Okay, she's just friends with Ja. Gotcha. Alright, and um, I'm going to pause here as... Uh, you know what? Calamity. Okay, you know what? Stop. Okay, no. Uh, if I would, if I, if I was good, okay, we didn't get, we didn't get that. Arx is gonna retire anyways, right? Uh, stats, retirement age. Okay, yeah, I really doubt anything we do gonna. Okay, so you know what? We're just, we're just gonna do this right now. We're just gonna do this right now. Um, I feel like Arx should be there. Because, like, this is all kind of his story. But he's low on health. That's probably a bad idea. Alright, sorry about that. Arx is hurt. I feel like he should come along, though, just because this, this is kind of his story. Uh, and... Yeah, so we're just gonna keep an eye on Arx. He's just gonna be, uh... You know... Yeah. Uh, what level is Ileana? Okay, yeah, you know what? Okay. Hudson, you're gonna stay behind... Just in case, and we're gonna bring this lot in. Or, finally, story stuff. The Offer. The ruin of Hollow of Ungralia lies in a natural depression. Fog heaps and flows, coats their faces in damp chill and the or odor of undisturbed mold. But Arx's directions led them to the marked tunnel. It's, a whole it's where a dragon would live. Nola speaks in a whisper. Chorusing echoes hiss from the shadows. It's the kind of cave heroes enter, and only one comes out. Vague light slips in from somewhere, daubs the underground with faint hues. Though a prism of grays, it twists and stretches, a snaking, splitting cavern, cold and bone quiet. Somewhere deep, the makeup, makeup of the tunnel changes. Earth welded walls meet the halls of hand carved stone. There's a glow up ahead. Firelight. Let everyone know to tighten up. Grouping towards the blue light, they pause. It's just five of us. Let's remember that. Whatever happens, be smart. Take initiative. Their enemies gaze without feeling as they enter. Here we are. And welcome. Our presence is not everlasting. And yet you are content to wait for us. What is it here we're... What is it we're here to resolve? I'll put it plainly, I'd like to make you an offer. They call me the Prophet, my disciples. To others, I am Deep King. To you, I have been an adversary, but that need not remain true. You speak for everyone, the Deepest? You're it? I am the authority in my order, yes? 
so if I want to cut off the head of the snake. Beside me stands the Shadow Messiah, a being older than legend, almost as old as myself. The enormous figure at, at the Deep King's side narrows its eyes. The air it breathes is, fur is furnace-like and smells of wood smoke. And what's the... The offer is immortality. Immortality, you mean like in songs? I mean immortality. Your lifetime made endless. That is the secret we found, and we offer it. This offer is for us five? Us together and no one else? Should one of you be wise enough to grasp it, you will not be refused. What's the exchange? All you must do is come with us now. The, stair the stars don't love you. Below, there is warmth, knowledge, eternity waiting. You will not be above me, inferior, but beside me, higher than only my queen. One of them steps forward to accept the offer, they all refuse. No, we're not taking it. We're not taking it. We still want peace, we'll work for it, but we're not going to join you, anyway. All that you want is to get us out of the way so you can do what you please with the world above, isn't that right? Hmm, I wouldn't limit my ambitions quite so much. But removing you is obviously the next step. Should any of you escape this cavern, you can consider our truce at an end. Well, that was productive. The Deep King moves away into the shadows, and his attendants move forward. Ugh, Allah. Forget chopping off snakes' heads. Isn't this the time we run? I think so. So it's a running away mission? Shadow Messiah. Massive and muscular, it moves with grace, silent as shadows. Silent as shadows when it wills itself to be. Its immense bath bow groans and hums. The Woken, Slinger, Horn Child, No Picture, Chosen, Merc Mother, Father Promise. Great! Escape Deepest. Escape Deepest will keep coming. Oh yeah, this, uh, this looks bad. This looks quite bad. Okay. Uh, so we need to get all the way over here. And they're just gonna keep following us. That's a lovely sight. Arx, can you please kill this guy and get co cover? Good. Okay, Arx is hurt. We gotta keep Arx alive. So he can retire nicely with his family. Uh, okay, dang it. Well, just run! Just run! Uh, quick! Throw down a jump jaw! Then run away! Uh, and you know what? Can you throw down another one? Yeah! Uh, yeah, you know what? Just keep, just keep going. We just gotta keep going. This is another running away mission, just like how we started. Well, this is just getting out of hand. Come on. Okay, can you you can stop now? That's enough. You're done. The Zuliano's not having a good day. Oh my god. What the hell? That is way too many. Oh my god. Just just oh my god. Can you can you uh Okay, you can make bone walls. Ah, uh, that's really not going to help us, though, because we got to go through there. Oh my god, this is not okay. Nothing about this situation is okay. We got to get through all this. What the hell? Okay, his first attack doesn't cost an action or something like that. No. Okay. Um. Here. Windwalk Jaw. Try and secure this spot. Kill the Chosen. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, fuck. Uh, sh uh, fire chicken! Okay, okay. Ah, uh, shoot, we're leaving Zoliana behind, ain't we? Yeah, it definitely looks like we're leaving Zoliana behind. Uh, okay, hang on. We can interfuse with this and slow them down this way. Uh, this, this slinger will still be here. But we can make a bone wall from this. B bone, bone wall. I seriously, you gotta be kidding me. Bone lance. Come on, let me bone wall, you idiot. Ah. Okay, thanks, thanks. I guess we may as well do that then! That Greg is not gonna have a good day. Oh wait, uh, Arcs can shoot Slinger. Hmm. You know, just do that. Slinger is gonna be a problem. Yeah, leaving Zillion behind! That's not good! Okay, and we need to get past here too. Great. Jaw, secure the horde, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, okay, we might be able to make a bone wall here. Zoliana, I just want you to go forwards. Just forget all this. Um, okay, you might be able to zeal a sleep. Finish off the Merc Mother, she's dangerous. And then Jaw, please, for the love of God, Bone Wall. We need that Bone Wall right now. Okay, that's some. That is some. Um. Shoot, yeah. I'm just gonna have Ark stay hidden for now. Yeah, they're still coming. They are still coming. Stop hurting me! I get the feeling not everyone is gonna make it out of here alive. That is a very distinct possibility that we are going to have to accept. Okay, okay, guys, chill! Chill! We're done! You had way too many... have way too many things on the screen here! Oh my, look at this! How is this fair? <laughs> oh my god, okay. We need to keep slowing these guys down. So, you know, as much as I hate to... Oh boy, Zuliana's probably gonna go. Uh, Greggy just might end up giving his life for this thing, to be honest. It's, it's kind of... What this looks like right now. Um, fight. Um, strike. I, I. Fuck. I don't know. Just go. Just arcs. Just go. Someone has to live, even though you're retiring. And if everyone here, you're the one retiring. Why do they have to block a one wide hallway? Like, how is that fair? Oh boy, Shadowhunter, that's great, that's great. Well, that wall really helped us. Oh, Jaw! And... Mm. Um, fuck, basically. Uh, arcs. 
someone needs to get out that isn't Arcs. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have Azolea to make a run for it. So, Greggy, what's your, uh, what's your retirement age? Say five? Okay, you're already retiring. Um... Yeah, basically, shit. This is bad. This is, like, very... This is b bad beyond all reason. Zoliana run. Zoliana might just be the single legacy of this entire goddamn thing. thing. Um... Basically... Shit. Just make as much of a... Much of an obstacle as we can. Oh, it's not even an obstacle. Uh, in the very unlikely chance that Nola somehow makes it out of this alive. Ah, eh, she's not making it out of this alive. Her right leg was destroyed. Well, she could fall back, fight another day. I mean, that is exactly what we're doing. Fall back and fight another day. Maybe we'll see her in the next chapter. Uh, Greggy fell to the ground. His left leg lay severed. I'll give my life to protect my friends. Uh, Greggy dies plus three armor for all. You two need to run! Run! <laughs> this is not good. Everything about this situation is bad. Zoliana, run! You're like the only one that's worth saving at the moment. Arx, you run too. Oh, your son is dead. Your son is dead and you're gonna retire. Oh my god, chill! Come, guys, chill! This is way too much! Arx, get out of there! Get out of there, Zilliana! Oh my god. Nothing about that was good. Yeah. May as well. Ox has grown stronger, but he's gonna retire. Uh, well, Bard, I guess. Once more into the light. All right, you two. A uh, cranky jaw. They're not coming back. So much for peace offerings. As for our dead, we'll mourn them well and long. Mysteries like mists gather, grow, and surge at their heels. Jaw Del Wraith fell in battle at Gla Glamwander Woods. I'm sorry to see you go, friends. What is best? I'm thinking we'll add Jaw to the legacy. He didn't do a lot, but he did his best. I mean, he was he was better than Hudson, that's for sure. So yeah, Jaw Del Wraith. Son of Arx Delwraith will be added to our legacy, and hopefully, he will be remembered. A few weeks pass. The stars are clouded. The more I think about it, the less I believe it. Believe what? That sackload he gave us about eternal life and all. Yeah, it's... well, it doesn't matter right now, does it? It's a clue. They wouldn't offer a prize they didn't believe is valuable, but that hasn't worked for them before. I suppose that's a decent point, but think about it. All their efforts seem aimed at swelling their ranks, but why? What's ultimately in it for any of them? Whoever that Deep King really is, he had to start somewhere. He had to have some means of becoming what he became. I wonder what that story is. I wonder if all or a few of his fellows share that potential. There's still so many things we can't explain. I worry the answers will be worse than the questions. But they're the answers we need. The passing of the night will tell them nothing. But the truth is like a scar. No cloud may cover it forever. A greggy dam fell in battle at Glam Glamormalda Woods. I'm sorry to see you go, friend. You'll be missed, but not forgotten. And Greggy is already part of my legacy from a previous campaign, so he will not be forgotten. But he won't be promoted. And somehow that is victory, and we have earned 14 years of peace. 
Oh, uh, look at these decks. This is bad. This is really bad. Nolas went back to Lightspun Weaverworks to apprentice for a year. The murals she spun tended to play out their stories when no one was looking. Her hair must be changing. Her wolf head is gray now. Nolas took up with a soft-hearted man who lived at the edge of Lightwood. One would patch the roof, one would weed the garden, and Nolas marveled at how fulfilled she felt by his side. Zoliana was approached by an old acquaintance who told her, The offer still stands. With clenched teeth, Zoliana told her to forget the past, forget her name, and never return. Whispers rose again. Folks were flocking to the promises of a powerful cult. Without a troubled world around them, impressionable minds can still be swayed by suitable tongues given time. The young tend to be the most idealistic. Easiest to enamor, easiest to ensnare. Hudson and Arx enjoyed talking about the old days over camp campfire. Hunts Hudson would pause sometimes and ask Arx if they had done the best they could. Arx always assured him that they had. Zuliana returned to the scene of her infamous bar brawl. Kale made sure that the ale was falling free flowing freely all night. One night, Hudson had the most fantastical dream in which he spent a day with everything going right for him. And then, just before dawn, hmm. Ark sat down after his last battle and finally wrote down the tales he had amassed. They were mostly true stories, though Ark's role in saving the Yandering Lands may have been exaggerated. Ark Stelwraith has retired. He is no longer in your party, but he'll go into your legacy and may play a part in future stories. Hudson Chuck's son has reached adventuring age. Molvish Chuck has joined Enders of Horn as a hunter. Hudson Chuck's son has reached a veteran age. Viv Chuck has joined Enders of Horn as a hunter. Uh, and we could potentially advance Nolus's transformation. This is a new thing that happened in a patch between episodes. Uh, there are now options to advance transformations between years of pe between chapters through things like this. So you can just say yes or no. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's give her another wolf leg. She's got one wolf leg already. May as well give her another one. Zoliana. Advanced Zoliana's transformation. Plus two speed. When Zolia leaves the tile, 40% chance to grant the tile celestial... To make the tile celestial and grant plus 10 accuracy to all allies. Well, you know, I kind of like her being purely human, but this sounds pretty cool, actually. I think we're going to take the leg... That is a cool leg. Alright, we got uh, some new guys to equip here. Let's uh, at least get them some better stuff. Okay, you... Uh, v um, hang on, let's uh, quickly... Let's change their names just a little bit. Because, you know, these are randomly generated names and let's... Uh, let's do it. Um... Mercus Chuck and Viv Chuck customize. Vicus Chuck. There we go. Mercus and Vicus. They're twins, probably. Okay, uh right. I'm thinking Mercus. You're gonna go Ghost Trap. And if we can afford it for Vicus, you're gonna go Thornback. There we go. Just so you have different kinds of armors. And what else can we get? Hudson. Let's get you some Nightmail. Alright. So I think that's all we got right now. I gave... So Mercus has Ghost Trap. A, uh... Tier 3 Stone Dagger. And a tier 2 water bow. Vicus has Thornback, a tier 2 water dagger, and a tier 3 stone bow. Neither of them have any offhand poisons. Gave Hudson some night mail, so he's a bit more tanky. Uh, didn't change anything about Nolus. I don't can't really afford much of anything, unfortunately. 
I could give her a dagger, I guess. Um, right? Secondary dagger? Can I not? Oh. Alright, okay, apparently this is the only hand that uh, can hold a weapon. That's weird. Right, uh, Zuliana. Oh, I could enchant her a sword, looks like. Or give her a dagger. She should probably use a dagger. If. We'll, uh. We'll enchant, we'll enchant the sword, I guess. May as well. We have the spell parts for it. And everything else is pretty much the same. We could give her a, an enchanted bow, but it's really not worth it. Legends rest in places like this. Ancient places? Forgotten places. Tell me if you see anything, unless it's bones. What are we looking for, Nolus? Also not sure. Nolus located this tomb after a rare, seeming inc seemingly inconsequential find. A segment of a long-lost epic had turned up one night as she was cleaning her chambers. The feats of the story's main figures felt familiar once she studied them. Digging through the old books, she deduced where the heroes of the verse were interred. Call it a hunch, maybe. They fought monsters on the mountains, bull men, diminutive horned things out of the darkness, and beasts made of living fungus. They saved their world, so... Could be a lesson buried here, don't you think? Watch your step. The lantern illuminates webs in watch stone. Shadows shrink, hardening into cracks and hollows around the walls. Heroes were buried here. Surprised those things still light. I've got the torch I've got the touch of fire. Don't I usually? You ever think about where you'll be buried? I doubt any of us gets a crypt. I want to be buried with my true love. Anywhere. Anywhere we're together. What about being cast into the sea? I can imagine sinking down and becoming something else. A whale? This is interesting. Here, here evermore lies Ilias and Lestrand. Their love, which protected so many, shall cradle their eternal sleep. The statue of the two lovers wears a satin layer of dust. Aside from that, it's pristine. This was worth seeing, no matter what else we find. Well? Nolus moves to another tomb, set apart against the far wall. It looks like the others, but something about it seems... Off. As she lays a ha hand upon it, she knows. Hey, this one's been touched. Touched? The dust is disturbed. The fire's gone out. The shadows deepen. Oh, great. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. So I'm going to have to say thank you everyone so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. My name is Tam Troll. This is Wildemeth. And I will see you next time. Uh, the ending bit of this episode, like with all the heroes lined up, might be tricky. I expect that if anything happens to any of these three, then we're going to... Then, you know, you might get spoilers for the end of this fight, because I'm going to have to record that at the end of this episode. Uh, uh, at the... Uh, I'm going to have to record that, basically, after this fight, so... Yeah. Uh, keep an eye on that, I guess? I don't know. I blathered on long enough, haven't I? Farewell. Some